going to get down and dirty today. No, it's not even spring yet. It's the Chicago Flower and Garden Show, and it's back at Navy Pier. Tony Aperscato is the show director here at Navy Pier. Uh, how much time and effort went into this today? Well, we started last year, um, the two days after our last show closed. So it's been a year of labor of love. <laughs> and I understand that it hasn't been around for a few years, and you brought it back. We did. We actually produced it a couple years in the suburbs, and now we've brought it back downtown to its original home at Navy Pier. And what's the biggest difference between um, in the suburbs and here in Chicago? Well, I think there's some advantages. One, there's a very high ceiling and a beautiful hall here at Navy Pier. Uh, we have the opportunity of being cooperative with the Park District and the Mayor's Office and the Mayor's Office of Special Events, along with the MPEA, who have really kind of joined us on this joint venture of a project to bring this show back to the city. So that's been our big plus. And how many different people are you collaborating with to, to get this going? Well, we have 25 different gardens that are being built, and each one of those probably has anywhere from two to six different collaborators within themselves. So we're 150 different companies that are involved in producing the show. 150 gardening companies. How much dirt do you think that is? Um, it is, we're figuring out it's about 800,000 tons of sand uh, that we brought in. We brought in 42 truckloads of sand, 16 truckloads of soil uh, through all of this. So it's been a lot. That's been a wow, lot. that really is a labor of love. Here's Jeff. He is a coordinator at the Museum of Science and Industries. Uh, what brought you here today? Well, we are here for the Flower and Garden Show in our display, which is reminiscent of a child's pop-up book. We're actually standing here by the Smart Home, which is opening March 19th at the museum. So we have some beautiful tulips and mums um, mixed in with our smart home here in this quadrant. We also have baby chicks, our pioneer zephyr, and our famous U505 as part of the display. And what was uh, the thought process behind this? We really wanted something fun and kid-friendly since that's kind of the main audience that comes to the museum, but also people remember those iconic exhibits such as the chick hatchery, the U505, and the pioneer zephyr. So something fun and playful and very colorful for spring. And how long did it take to put this together? We started back in January, so we've been working several months, and then the last few days installing it here at Navy Pier. Wow, so you put a lot of time and effort into this. Yeah, a lot of time and effort went into this beautiful display, and we had a lot of help, so it was a team effort. Okay. And what's new? What's going on at the Museum of Science and Industries lately? We have a lot of stuff coming up. We have the Smart Home, Green and Wired, opening again on March 19th. All new um, interiors and new designs for guests to come back and see. And we also have Harry Potter, the exhibition, coming at the end of April at the museum. And all that information is at our website, msichicago.org. I'm sitting here with Julie and Bill, and they are from Chicago Specialty Gardens. Uh, tell us about what we're sitting in right now. Uh, right now we're sitting underneath a pergola with a live roof, green roof system shading our area. And Bill, how much time went into putting this together? Uh, we've been working on the construction of this in our shop. It's, uh, it's all modular pieces that were constructed for the show and then ultimately for our, our office space. So it was about two months worth of work putting this together and then the last week and a half with the show. All right. And what was the inspiration behind all of this? Um, thinking about the environment, um, designing for our clients usable living spaces on roof gardens. Julie, tell us a little bit more about Chicago Specialty Gardens. We are a uh, full-service design-build firm. Um, when we meet with our clients, we, be, we go through a lengthy design process that involves considering not only the specific site, the client's needs, um, and of course, any of the other architectural and um, object elements that end up in our gardens, which include um, any of the custom carpentry work that we do, the material um, selection of plants, um, water features, fire elements, furnishings, um, and we go through that process with them, and then eventually we, you know, would move on to the built stage of the garden. If you were to come to my house, uh, how would we start out with this project? Well, we take a look at uh, the space that you want to develop and uh, what you're, how you're looking to use the space, whether it's for entertaining or it's more private meditation kind of area. And then we talk about what some basic design strategies might be. Uh, and then if it seems like everything's kind of working right, we would um, put together a design proposal and move forward with the design process. Julie, for those who want to get a hold of you, uh, how do they reach you? They can find us on the web at chicagogardens.com. I'm standing here with some students from the Chicago High School of Agricultural Sciences, and behind us is actually the exhibit they have been working very hard on. What went into this project? Uh, it was really basically a team effort. We all come from different backgrounds, and we come basically from five different pathways, which is animal science, horticulture, 
uh, food science, and finance. So, yeah, it was basically a team effort. Okay. And how long did it take to put this together? Like, a couple of months, like three months, basically around about there. And basically, if we didn't have horticulture or mechanics, we couldn't get this done. So basically, it's a group effort that we need that everybody's backgrounds and their specialist skills to get this done. So it looks very pretty, guys. Um, a lot of people might think it's easy, but how hard really is it to do something like this? Um, it's actually really hard. We, uh, we spent a lot of time planning it. Uh, that was probably most most of the time we spent on it, and then building it, it took months, like uh, Mike said, and then putting it all together. That was the fun part. That took uh, that took like a week or something to do with it, all this. And I have to say, I love the animals back there. Uh, who did that? Well, it was um, basically we had to put up the idea first, and the whole architecture and everything. It was it started as an idea, and then it became a reality. And the animal part to it, it was it was um, since we have animals at our school, since we are a farm, and you know. It would be cool to show off like what is actually at our school. Like everything represents something about our school here. What What was your role in this this project? Um, in one of my in my class, which is ag mechanics, for the past few months, we've been building all the books that you see, like the ones that are standing, and the ones that are on the ground open. We have been building them out of wood, and then putting mortar over it, and then painting it. And we've been working on that for months, so. That was my main role in it, and then I've spent four days within the last week down here putting it together, so that was my role in it. Okay, and I know that green is very in right now. Did that have a lot to do with why you chose to come out today and work on this? Oh, yeah. Um, our farm stand, we sell a lot of organic stuff that we grow at our school by ourselves where the students work at, and um, our school is all about being green. We recycle. We have recycling boxes in every classes, and it's just a really big part in our school. That's great, Chicago High School for Agricultural Sciences. Thank you. Well, I have to say, I really dig being here at the Chicago Flower and Garden Show, and I know you will too. It's going on March 7th through the 15th. For Chicago3media.com, I'm Danielle Masterson.